Hello chaps and chapesses, it's a beautiful morning and today we are going to review the new Hardy HBX 9 foot 9 weight saltwater series rods on the salt flats of Providence Atoll here in the Seychelles. The Hardy HBX rods are hand built in the Anik factory using the Syntrix 440 resin. Lower guides are Fuji dark nickel line strippers and the rest of the guides are recoil black pearl guides with an oversized hay fork at the end. The 9 weight features an alloy saltwater spacer with handwritten serial numbers, floor grade cork and comes in an attractive tube. The first thing I noticed was how light it felt in the hand. It immediately feels very precise with a very fast recovery, yet loads with a short line. I stripped off some more line to see what it would be like with aerializing line at distance. Even with a weighted crab on the end, I found that the blank throws a very tight loop into the wind and can hold line in the air. With a bit more line out, I began to really increase the line speed and really felt the power in the blank accelerate the line to throw a long line. It's immediately obvious that this rod is a far faster action than the Zephyrus range which I had been using up to this point. The recovery in the tip is extremely quick and the tracking is dead on. The power in the blank becomes immediately obvious when you pick it up and launch and you can throw most of a fly line with one cast. Moving on to accuracy, I began casting into the wind, still with the weighted crab. The rod tracks cleanly and feels like a rapier rather than a saber precise and like an extension of your arm. Next I wanted to test the rod in a real fishing situation. Waiting on the west side I spotted a trigger tailing. I pulled the crab off, stripped out some line and began to make a cast. The rod threw a nice tight loop even with the weighted crab and it with the wind coming in on my left hand shoulder. First time the trigger moved in the other direction. Stripped off a bit more line and moved the fly out to the left with one shot. Made a few quick strips, fish followed the fly. I felt it nipping at the end of the line and then I strip set. And what ensued was a beautiful yellow margin trigger fish, which this rod fought beautifully. So what do I think of the Hardy HBX 9 foot 9 weight? Well I fished with it here on Providence hard all week. I have to say that I really like the action. It's much much faster than the Zephyrus. It's a very quick action, almost harping back to the old Pro Axis range if you like. It's a very quick casting rod, it's great for quick shots. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite an accurate weapon. I have found it very precise in where I need to put the fly and the different species that I've been chasing. Mostly this week I've been using it to try and catch triggerfish, which are one of my great favorites. They can be very, very finickety, very difficult little fish to catch, so you need to be very precise with your casts. Often you need to put the fly straight into the wind, it's a weighted fly, it does present its challenges. So I have found the, the Hardy HBX an excellent tool for that job. It will throw a long, long line. If you load it up correctly with the right bellied uh, weight forward taper, it's an extremely powerful rod. So all in all, do I really like it? Yeah, I think it's a phenomenal rod. What I'm not particularly sure about yet are the rings. I think I, think I would have preferred to have seen it with the recoil uh, rings that we would normally have on the Zephyrus and I think that's probably better for salt water but you know I haven't used it that long so I think I'll I wait until I pass judgment on that as a bone fishing tool it's absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal it can throw a very very tight loop you can tuck it under the wind and from that perspective yeah absolutely top of the tee this will be my number one bone fish stroke trigger and also it'll be brilliant for bumpies because it's got that backbone 
beautifully finished. Absolutely, be I'm very, very um, keen on the um, on the rod fittings. But no, it's it's really done its job this week down here on Provenance, and uh, I'm very pleased with how it has performed. Once again, I hope you found this video of use. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please also press that little notification bell, because then you'll actually know as soon as we upload something. In the meantime, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.